We stand today at the threshold of a great event, both in the life of the United Nations and in the life of mankind. This Universal Declaration of Human Rights may well become the International Magna Carta of all men everywhere. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience, and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms without distinction of race, color, sex, language, religion, political, national, or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. No one shall be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. All are equal before the law and are entitled, without any discrimination, to equal protection of the law. Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence. Men and women of full age have the right to marry and to found a family. Everyone has the right to own property. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion, freedom to change his religion or belief, and freedom to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship, and observance. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. Everyone has the right to work, right to equal pay for equal work, to just remuneration, to form and to join trade unions. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social protection. Everyone has the right to education. Remember, useless slaughter, frightful ruin are the sanction of the pact which unites you with an oath which must change the future history of the world. No more war, never again war. Peace, it is peace which must guide the destinies of peoples and of all mankind. <laughs> 